The past remains with me. No matter how far I run, if I could just say those two words to you, my consciousness would not eat at me. You were very important to me, after all. You were there for me when no one else was. When you found me, you showed me that I could actually be useful. With your outstretched arm offering your hand to me, those eyes projected nothing but acceptance and love. You are useful to someone somewhere, Ku. Even if it's for a day. Hey guys, Kuderi Ghost here, and welcome back to Fruits of the Literature Club. So, let's get back into it. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. Is that so? Hmm. Uh, plus there is no reason for me to make a big deal out of it. Alright. Well, here. Uh, Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Here you go. <laughs> okay, I didn't want you to feel left out. E even if you aren't joining the club. Ah, well, thank you. Since I, uh, am pretty much finished with my current book, I will make sure to read this. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. Interesting. I'll keep that offer in mind. Yuri looks pleased and relieved as she gingerly runs her fingers across a book that sits in her lap. Okay, everyone. Sayuri and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayuri's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. Understandable. <laughs> on the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. Monica looks towards me. Ku, I think it would be good practice if each of us showed you our poems as well. Is that okay? Sure. I set my book, uh, I set my book down and the book that Yuri gave me back into my bag. Oh, okay. Uh, whose poem shall I read first? Okay, let's, uh, let's read Monica's? I don't know, why not? I cocked my head towards Monica. Monica? Yeah? I want to know if she's a secret agent or not, okay? Uh, <laughs> would you mind if I read your poem? Of course. Hole in the wall, yes. We have read this. Okay. So, what do you think? It is very freeform. I think it that's the right word for it, at least. Uh, <laughs> well, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting uh, emphasis on the timing between words and lines. Also, hit that subscribe button to become a ghost. I got him. All right. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, but all right. Just do it. <laughs> uh, when performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. Uh, I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here is something that I'd like to focus on while I write. Uh, sometimes when you write, when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll make, never make any progress on it. Uh, just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your... <laughs> I thought he was going to interrupt her. I'm going to be honest. <clears throat> if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a dar big dark puddle of ink. Into a dark puddle. So just move your hand and go with the flow. <laughs> I nod my hand. I nod my head, not my hand. Nodding my hand. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> that looked weird. Okay, very wise words. You are truly more intelligent than you initially come off, Monica. Ha. <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or not, okay? I pass the poem back to her. Whose poem shall I read next? Uh... Y y y Soon, Derry. <laughs> okay, I turn to Natsuki. When we make contact, uh, she looks away for a second, clearly perplexed. Mind if I read your poem, Natsuki? Without saying anything, she slides the poem to face to me face down. Yep, okay. Oh, beautiful poem that we've seen five times. By five times, I mean five million times. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I told you that you weren't going to like it. Uh, I like it. And that's not hating on any of you, okay? It's just, it, we've all seen it a million times, okay? <laughs> what? Just be honest, I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because you're a meanie, okay? <laughs> Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all f sophisticated and stuff, so people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of uh, poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your messages any less valid. 
In fact, even the most complex of messages can be delivered in just a few simplistic words. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can really be disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. And, also it takes less time to read, and you think about it more. <laughs> if you if you let the reader, okay, if you read, if you write out everything for the reader, right? <clears throat> they're not, they don't really have anything to think about because you literally just told them everything, right? Every single detail. Part of the book thing is just imagination, right? So, you know, take that advice. Okay, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, okay. It helps bring out the feeling uh, in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you're learning something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, uh, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Especially if that means I don't have to hear any more rude comments from her. They don't even bother me, but I'd rather not hear them. They bother you. Okay. Uh, either way, I pass the poem back to her. Whose poem shall I read next? Yuri. I, I, why did I leave Sayori last? I'm so sad. <clears throat> Yuri, may I read your poem? Yuri looks disheveled and shyly holds her poem in her hands. Sh sure. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, I flick her back. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't even thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. <clears throat> I had to reread it multiple times. Not a bad thing, just making sure that I understand it. Huh? That's a uh, relief. Also, I liked the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. Usually, uh, I usually write longer poems. Not at all. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. <clears throat> I'm really glad you like it. Uh, I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to share. I wanted to write something a little more mild, something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? Subscribe to become a ghost. Ha! <laughs> Don't know what that is, but ah, got him. <laughs> and and hit that like button. <laughs> ha ha! Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Koo. Dang it! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> hmm. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and expresses in their works. Uh, they usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. Uh, in this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbol symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable, unable to let go of the past, <clears throat> and soon to be left with nothing. There's a lot more solemn putting it that way. Uh, I would have never thought of it that way. Okay, if I can English, please ever you think i'd you'd think i'd learn you think you th you think i'd be able to do read better you know no no doesn't happen <laughs> that's impressive yuri smiles softly and takes her poem back whose poem shall i read next sayori i turn to sayori who is already staring at me waiting almost as if she knew i was going to pick her well everyone else was already picked so that's sad uh sayori let me see what you wrote here you go okay as I read Sayori's poem, I notice her handwriting. It's what I expected. Sayori, let me guess. You wrote this poem when you woke up today, right? Oh, what makes you say that? I, I did no, no such thing. What are you talking about? <laughs> you put that uh, you wanted breakfast. So, since this assignment was given to you yesterday, at what point since then would you want breakfast? Other than that, it's a nice poem. You really think so? Mm-hmm. Yay. All right. <laughs> Across the room- okay, yay, that's it. <laughs> Across the room, Sayuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They are gingerly exchange- uh, they gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Aww. <laughs> What's- what is with this language? Huh? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? 
I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Huh? You mean you have to try that hard to co come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Okay. <laughs> We've already read this. Both girls stare at me waiting for an answer. Listen, girls, this is probably one of the most stupidest arguments I've ever heard. And I've literally heard two grown men argue over a soda, uh, over a soda, jeez, okay, and nearly beat each other to death because of it. Fact of the matter is, you both should definitely not be attacking each other because of something like this. From what I understand, there are reasons writing has so many variations, each with different impacts and emotion. She looks so tired. Yuri looks so tired, dude. I looked at Natsuki. Did did they spell that wrong? I, I thought they did. Okay, Natsuki. Huh? <laughs> Your writing is simplistic because that is how you chose to choose to write. I direct my cold gaze towards Yuri. And Yuri, yes? Your writing is more formal and complex because it shows how you choose to write. But that doesn't matter uh that doesn't make either of your girls' writing inferior. Both of your poems were great, and I was impressed by both of them. Okay, I guess. Now, if you would both keep uh, me out of your petty and frivolous arguments, I would be appreciative. Okay, <clears throat> both girls have sunken into their seats in defeat. Sayuri stands up and cries out after I silence myself. Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems, they're amazing because they can give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented. Also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri, Yuri's boobs. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say it like that so YouTube's not like <laughs> yellow <laughs> are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Okay, Sayori. Sayori stands up triumphantly. Uh, Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. Natsuki and Yuri nod their heads. Y yeah. Natsuki doesn't respond. She sits in her chair with a blank expression while uh, while completely silent. I look over and make eye contact with Monica. So this is why Sayori is uh, vice president. I whisper into her ear. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president, that's kind of embarrassing to me. Yeah, she'd rather just delete them. <laughs> Aha. Aha ha ha. <laughs> it isn't uh, like I could blame you. An argument like that, albeit completely stupid in nature, is still difficult to resolve. But Sayori handled it much better than I ever expected her to. That's Sayori for you. You also did uh, well handling yourself there too, Ku. Uh, let's just say I'm used to these things. Nevertheless, thank you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Okay, everyone, it's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. I was, it was all right. Well, mostly. Ku, how about you? I'd say it was pretty interesting. I turned to Sayori. Ku, are you ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Ha! <laughs> Sayori beams at me. <laughs> beams, okay. Sayori, about what happened earlier, uh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki, does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. They're fighting over us. <laughs> you don't you don't hate them, do you? What? Jumping to conclusions and, assumpl and assumptions like that is foolish, Sayori. It gets people killed. Bottom line, no, I do not hate them. It takes a lot, uh, quite a lot for me to hate someone. I just wanted to see what your opinion was. I can see why they'd make good friends with you. Whew. You know, Ku, it's nice that I got to spend time with you in the club. If you say so. I do. Heh. <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. Ugh. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the fact that I haven't joined the club. We will uh, just see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I turn to walk away from her, but she grabs my arm. Ku? What do you want, woman? <laughs> Can we hang out more today? I have things I have to do, sorry. Huh? Really? Yes. Come on, man. Sayori pouts at me while... I wave her off towards my towards her house. Sayori, Sayori waves me good. Sayori waves bye to me as she skips towards her home. Do 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 do. Like what? What are you What are you busy with, dude? <laughs> Secret agent missions. I roll over to my left side to the left side of my bed. 
increasingly uh, getting more irritated at myself each time. I'm usually never this le restless unless I just got done with work. I lift myself up off the bed and look out my window. The night is clear and empty, which is something I am familiar with. There have been many times I was forced to remain motionless in brush, uh, in brush on a night like this, waiting and waiting. There were even times when it would rain constantly, but after a while you get used to it. I remember back at my old school, uh, some days during P PT, it would be freezing and pouring out. What? Of course, our instructors didn't care. A, uh, a, fi a few physical training, I guess that's what it is. A few of my classmates and I didn't think we could continue. I swear some of the water on my underarms be had begun to freeze. I hated it. But uh, it taught me how just how far a human body can go in severe conditions. It's clear I won't be sleeping for a while. So I get myself up out of bed. I might as well take a walk. See, he did nothing. As I walk down th uh, the nicely maintained sidewalk of the neighborhood, I pass by Sayori's house. Sayori is a bubbly girl, one that you could say is rare to come by. Her energy is uplifting. She reminds me of, I stop walking. No, I mustn't let myself. The words leave my mouth with a pained sor a sourness to them. I continue my walk around the block, but my mind continues to haunt me about something. She wouldn't want me to. Aw, I raise my head and look up to the night nice sky. Wow, that's nice. <laughs> so this is why I couldn't sleep, huh? I leave. Uh, I live. I leave to live a normal life, but the past remains with me, no matter how far I run. If I could just say those two words to you, my consciousness would not eat at me. You were very important to me, after all. You were there for me when no one else was. When you found me, you showed me that I could actually be useful. With your outstretched arm offering your hand to me, those eyes projected nothing but acceptance and love. You are useful to someone somewhere, Ku. Even if it's for a day. You will know uh, you did right when your memory lingers. Those three sentences you spoke have engraved, engraved themselves into my mind. Damn you. <laughs> Even when you, you're you gone, you, have, you still have such an influence on me. I lower my head in a futile effort to strengthen my resolve. All right. Well. <laughs> All right. So we're in the club room. Okay, hi everyone. All right guys, we're gonna end the episode there. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed, please smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button to become a ghost. Definitely do that, please. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Peace.